make changes to your voter registration. Last week we told you a woman says her vote was denied because someone changed her party affiliation. So Eyewitness News this morning's Janine Reyes looked into how often this happens and why it's allowed. This right here is the long list of groups and individuals who can take this voter registration and turn it in for you right here. And it's this form turned in in Orange County that kept Osceola voter Stacey Harris from voting Tuesday. It's frustrating because I, I know that I did not change my change to no party affiliation. We don't know how she changed from a 20-year registered Republican to no party affiliation. She never turned in this signed form herself. A third party did it. We don't know who. Michelle Levy with the League of Women Voters collects these forms for voters. To do that, her group had to register with the state. We found out there are about a thousand organizations who can help you register to vote. Some have political ties like Field of Burn, UCF's College Democrats, and the Republican Federated Women of the Villages. You know that if it's a, the Republican organization or a Democratic organization, and they're asking you to register to vote, that they're probably pushing their party. League of Women Voters is nonpartisan. Their internal rules require anyone handing out voter registrations to go through training and pass a test. We really think it should be automatic that anybody who's registered, um, you know, a third party registrant gets some sort of training. But this three page document is all that's required to become a third party voter registration organization. The only department policing all of these 1,000 groups and organizations is the Department of Elections in Tallahassee. If you think someone has altered your voter registration, you need to report it to them. Janine Reyes, Eyewitness News, this morning.